trying to get different perspectives out here. And honestly, what better way than to genuinely... Um, me and a medic are at the top and we're pulling, you know, as hard as we can to try to get this guy up. And we hear this big rip and the handle that I was holding just comes very loose. So we tore that tarp in half. There was just a clean break halfway through the tarp. <laughs> And wow. that is the only tarp that we have. Yeah, you know, yeah. We heard like you're really good at photography. How do you hear that? I don't know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy, right? Yeah. So I said, I said yes. I showed them my portfolio to the manager, and he said, "We need a photography club started back up because this Air Force base and this Army base is doing a lot with their photography clubs." Mm. So I'm like, I never personally taught photography. Yeah, right. So important because you don't want to live your life, you know, being that stagnant employee. And maybe that's good for some people, but I don't know. Not I don't know about myself. I don't know about you. What do you think? You want to be that stagnant, or you want that mentoring and coaching? Yeah, I mean, it, it's a, it's a, it, it could be a double-edged sword for some people, you know, especially the person that's mentoring because I've seen it at least in the restaurant industry. Because uh, I have a couple buddies that are in there, whether like general managers or overseeing, you know. Uh, I have a buddy named Daniel overseeing like seven Del Tacos and, and it, it's good money. Don't get me wrong. But the way I look at it sometimes is, okay, well, if the higher up is not willing to coach you 100%, it's because they're scared they were going to get replaced by you. When I went to go help, help the, the homeless, feed the homeless, I yeah. that like, I think that was like one of my best experiences I've ever had in my life. One of yeah. Them. You talk I, about that when we did that with the youth no, no, no. group? No, I did it. I did it with somebody else. Okay. But, but I, I went and I and I did that with one of my exes, and, and I enjoyed that shit a lot. Yeah. And I was like, damn, okay. So how can I give back? So oh, I need money to give back. All right, let me go start something. Right. Yeah. So that's my mentality. It's like, all right, I, I really want to give back, right? And I yeah. really want to support my friends and be like, yo, if I'm gonna go up, I want y'all to go up with me, right? Yeah. Type shit. Like I hit you up, I want mm -hmm. you to go up. That's I don't true. want you to fucking fall off or. Or yeah, I feel that. Not be good type shit. Like I want you to go up, so I'm like, all right, you know what? I'm a, I'm gonna keep doing this brand thing, and I'm gonna try to elevate this shit to the next level type shit. Uh, but I'm not trying to be by myself. Let me let me go hit up a homie. Let me go let me go chop some chop That's chop so. it up with somebody or whatever to see what yeah. we can do, right? Let's see what if we can get something done, and, and then elevate this shit to help your ass out too, right? And it's genuine. Like it's gen. The thing about you is that it's genuine. You know, it's you know. We're